Hello and welcome back to the woodshop. It is make timber 16th. Yes, we have now passed the halfway point of make timber. Today we're making a bowl. If you're to pick up this file in my Etsy shop, you can do this a lot of different ways, but today we're just gonna be doing a very simple version and it should only take about 20 minutes to cut out. This is actually the first project that I ever did on the CNC. I've never actually showed it on the channel because I never got it to a place where I was super duper happy with it until I got this iteration down. We're gonna be using the same old bowl bit that we've been using all of Make Timber. Okie dokie, turned out pretty freaking good, except for my dust collection. Uh, not sure what was up with that. So this is an excellent example of the down shear bit. It's pushing down the chip so it's not lifting anything out. And oftentimes when you don't have tabs, it works well enough because it shoves sawdust down into your profile cut and it makes it so your part stays a little bit better than it would have otherwise. But I've got tabs on this project. I chipped the corner, but <laughs> we're gonna go with it. Dice bowl tray thing. After I took it off the CNC, I went ahead and routed over the top and the bottom, and then I sanded down the sharp edges of that makes. So it makes a few intersections from the bowl bit that are actually quite pointy that you wanna sand down. And then I actually don't enjoy sanding a ton, so I took this over to the sandblasting cabinet and sandblasted this. If you'd like to know more about my sandblasting process, I've got an entire video on my channel. You can just search on YouTube, Hamilton Delight Sandblasting Wood and it'll pop right up. So, after the sandblasting, just a quick coat of mineral oil and then wipe that off and here we go. We've got ourselves our finished product. This is 10 and a half inches wide and the reason that I did that is so that you can go to your local home center by two by 12 and then use that and batch some of these out. You can use your thickness planner to make it as thick or as thin as you would like. Like I said, this is the one inch variant in the past I've done at an inch and a half, an inch and a quarter. If you're not into Dungeons and Dragons, this can easily just be a catch-all tray. So you take your keys, toss them in there, just have it next to the entryway, or of course your stripper knife, toss that in the bowl as well. That all works. The best stripper knives are the ones that you don't see coming. So of course this is made out of walnut. This is a board foot of wood that we used in order to create this, which would make that $12. On top of that, we've got around 20 minutes on the CNC, so that's $32. Realistically, uh, I think that somebody would be more than happy to pay $25 for this in person, and then online probably closer to 40. So this is something, like I said, originally made up for dice and for D&D, which is what the outer ring is for. But if you do end up picking up this file, you'll be able to see that there's a lot of different rings and the clearance tool paths that I at least used for this one. I made this dice ring on the outside to be able to hold normal D20, so anything like that will work. I honestly think any kind of oversized will probably work in there as well. But for that bowl bit, I took it down 0.25 inches and then I started on these circles working down. The first circle, I did a clearance tool path that just 0.125 inches and then the other ones going down were 0.25 inches down because I think that that does look the nicest as it starts to ramp down towards the middle. If you are making this as a dice tray just make sure you prototype a little bit so that when you're rolling your dice in the center if it hits over to the side it's not causing the dice to have a cock dice. The nice part is you can mess around with your own depths a whole lot just to figure out what works best for you and then worry about the type of material that you're using later. I think that you could use a construction grade 2x12 for this project and then use some stain and I think it'll turn out perfectly well. You can also use some colored stain, stuff like that. I hope that you enjoyed this project. Tomorrow is Fire Day. I'm very excited about Fire Day. Please check out the supporters of Make Timber. Their links are down in the description as well. I'll see y'all tomorrow.